Hello guys, this is Scotty speaking. So as you can see, we decided to take your guys' request to try some Indian food. We went with a local restaurant named Maharaya. We really wanted to have an authentic experience, of course. We had to show you guys how the food looked before we devoured it. <laughs> this food was already tempting as it is while we were showing you guys. Just let me know in the comments, what are your usual to-go items? Or which ones would you actually recommend? Let us know if we missed out on something good. Now stay tuned. cuisine was but you guys picked the Indian food and so here we are um, also if you guys haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe we're also still doing the $100 giveaway if once we hit the 500 subs so you guys run it up if you guys do like the video go ahead and like so that we could do more mug bangs for you guys and also hit us in the comments and let us know how we did on this one all right and she's gonna explain the whole entree here so oh, another one this is my very, very, very first time trying Indian food. Uh, you did say that. No, I've already tried Indian food. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. first of all, shout out to my Indian community. I love your guys' food. What? Well, okay. We love it. Okay, so this is my, I'm, I'm a little, like, uh, hesitant. hesitant. But I don't know why, but when she explains it, then you're going to understand why I'm a little hesitant. So, go ahead. All right, so starting off, I'm going to show you guys dessert, even though this is probably last. <laughs> so right here we have the, uh, I apologize if I slaughtered the wording. It's uh, called the uh, gulab jamun. Yahoo! This is a, a sweet pastry ball fried and soaked in flavored syrup. It's kind of like Trello. It's a good It's so like in syrup. So that's our dessert. She got a ball, I got a ball, so we're gonna try that one. Alright, so uh, we ordered a side. Where's the receipt at? I don't know the receipt. We ordered a side. This is a uh, papa dump. Yahoo! It's kind of like a. I guess. Like, it looks healthy. It's close to us. I guess I would say kind of like a tosa. Oh, like a Like a healthy tosa. Yeah, that looks healthy actually. Uh, it has a. It's made with a lentils. It feels very, very uh, thin, like, like um, kind of like a chip, very thin, like uh, a, a Frito Lay's chip, like that, very thin. Uh, I also decided to go for the this is the lamb biryani. Yahoo! So it has lamb in there, right? Yeah. Oh. You see? No, where is it? Right here, in the chunks. Oh, so the lamb is shredded in the rice, right? Not shredded. It's like just little pieces. Of stuff. Oh, okay. Chopped up, I guess. I don't know. Uh, she decided to go with the the uh, goat curry. Yeah. She she told okay. So I was looking at the menu, and when I was looking at the menu, I didn't know what to pick because obviously, like the words and all that's not of my language. So I'm just like, okay, what's going on? But then obviously, in fine print, that's what it says. I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna go with the. So I went with goat curry. So I mean, I'm a I'm a little like I don't even know. I hope I I hope I like it honestly. I hope I like it, but. I'll let you know. And then also it came with the side rice, so these two go hand in hand. And, and then I uh, also ordered uh, the garlic, uh, garlic knot. Yahoo! I mean, it's probably already cold. <laughs> and then uh, lastly, I believe she... I don't know what I got. No, this is like a... Oh, what's it called? Oh, what is it going to? It, it, it's, for, it's like a dipping, like a dipping... Um, like a dipper for like the the naan, or you can also put it on the lamb biryani. Uh, it's like a topper. Okay, so yeah, um, that looks kind of like a sour cream fill type. No, it's like Greek yogurt. Like it's that. So it'll come like minty. Yeah. Uh, I think like a ranch. It looks like a ranch. A ranch. Like a ranch. Uh, a ranch. ranch texture. Yeah. Like that. Look at look at look at like that. That's what I'm talking about. But it has a lot of uh, stuff in there, like chopped up and blended, right? <laughs> 
Yeah, so now we're gonna uh, dive in. All right, so we already served ourselves. Um, I got a little bit of everything. I'm right, ready to dive in. So first, what do you want to try? Uh, lamb brownie. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try it with without the sauce. They have the sauce here. It's a green sauce, and then they have this that kind of looks like a syrup type. And then there's this dipping sauce. I don't know. She's putting it on top. But I'm gonna try it without, and then I'll put it on top. The rice looks uh very long, so I think they use long rice. Obviously, or I don't even know. Maybe you guys use short rice. I don't know, but it's, it looks like it's long rice. Right? Okay, so okay. here we go. That was bomb. That's good. That's good. You should start with the. It has a whole bunch. It has a whole bunch of flavor. Now I'm gonna try it. Where do you want to try it? Huh? Guys, don't get mad because we're how do you call it? <laughs> double caught, dipping. Yeah, double dipping. We're, this is our food. We're gonna share it. No <laughs> one's gonna, um, no one's gonna eat after this. So this is just us. So don't get mad that I already ate off the food and double dipping. Because some of you guys are gonna be like, ew, cookies. No. <laughs> Sorry, so I'm gonna deal with that. When you say tasting like that, you make it seem no, like it tastes really good. You'd be surprised. All right, I don't know the name of this sauce, guys. So whatever, can, like, if no, whatever this sauce it. is, or you guys can recognize it, please let me know. That's why we couldn't tell you what it was. Oh, it's the pinion. Honest opinion. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm over here staring at you. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> Honest opinion, I wouldn't put this on my rice, technically. But I could see myself dipping this. What is this one again? The, the garlic naan bread. Garlic naan bread in this? That's what it's for, too. Oh, okay. Well, they, then, it, okay. They use it. The, well, I read. I kind of read it. Oh, okay, so I don't, I don't, I don't really know. So maybe I just ate it all wrong. No, no, no. they put it on top of the the, the bean. But typically, I think I would probably go with this to this because kind of it's like a like a appetizer type. I don't think I would eat it with my rice, but it does taste good with the rice. But typically, when I end up eating rice, I usually since I'm Mexican guy, I do hot sauce. So I'm used to hot sauce more of like probably this. Try this, I don't know what this is, but this. I'm gonna try it. I mean, I've had it before, so I'm like, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put that to the side because it still has the the white sauce. So I don't even know. I'm sorry. I, I read that's kind of like a mint cilantro uh, chutney. All right. I don't know if I'm sorry. So, but if you taste I'm it, put it a, like a minty taste. And then that one's a, like a tamarind. You said mint it's taste. Like a mint cilantro. Taste it. See that I would put it on the right. That is good. That's really good. It does give it like a uh, yeah. I'm gonna try this. All right, so now I'm gonna go to the white rice. I'm trying everything like you know by well, itself first. The white rice because I already tried it. You already tried. Oh yeah, I'm not trying the white rice because I, I have it all the time <laughs> with the curries. Oh, with the curries. Yeah. This is my first time trying Indian white rice. Not sure if it's different it's amongst different cultures. That's really. Very flavorful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, I love it. It's very light. I can eat this by itself. Actually. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna try this on top of it. Do you know what this is? This is a, a red somewhere. It's like a tamarind chutney. Okay, so maybe a tam maybe a tamarind chutney. Don't know. I feel like oh my god. We don't, if, even, we like, we don't even know right. what we're even, how we're eating it, what we're, how we're supposed to eat it. We're just throwing everything, anything on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like tamarind, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like a sweeter taste, it's right? Tamarind. I never have tamarind. Tamarindo? 
Yes, it does. It tastes like tamales. Alright, so her, that, but remember, that's your taste palette. My taste palette doesn't taste tamarindo. For people that don't know what tamarindo is, it's tamarind. It's tamarind? Yeah. Alright, I only know it in Spanish. Alright, so now here I go. I'm gonna try. What did you say? Garlic. Garlic. What is this? It's the garlic nut. This is like a bomb. I'm gonna say it's like garlic bread. Well, duh. Dip it in a little bit softer. You gotta dip it. Dip it. Wait, this is garlic bread, ain't it? It's garlic naan. Wait, isn't it garlic bread? If you wanna put it that way. In lamer <laughs> terms. <laughs> wow, you said lamer term? That's American term. <laughs> That gives it a way different taste on this lake. I told you. You're missing it. Yeah, that like a... I don't even know. I don't Is even it know like a good confusing or a bad confusing? Mm. I like it. I'm gonna try it again one more time. Try to figure out the taste to it. I don't know if I would. Woo! I don't know, I got like a. You know when you eat something sour? But it's not bad. It's a. a it has a different taste. Like a very different taste if you eat it by itself versus that. Oh, it tastes like. um. How do you say? It's like, you know when you buy uh, that special like type of. Uh, you know how that on the bread? You do realize it's called like a... Yeah, like a... You know when you go and you buy the platter with the bread and you dip it in with the, the white... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. But it, it's cool. It'll come to I mind. think I just like it by itself, honestly. But it's good with... Uh, honestly, this... Okay, and that's what I'm saying. Maybe I'm just like being hella weird. But I like that with my rice. This and this. Not so much. I would rather eat it by itself. But I'll, 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 they're gonna say, Why? Well, this, well, then why this are you me? I'll, I'll eat this any day. I'm just waiting on you. <laughs> I'm gonna be sure. Like, yeah. I, want I gotta get what it is. I have to get that used to my palate with the bread. I think that's what it is. Okay. Now, what do we eat this with? I don't know. I'm gonna try it with the, with the curry though. Alright, so I'm gonna try this by itself. It tastes like a. It's very crunchy. And I can taste the, the spices in this, like, very strongly. But it Even though it doesn't look like there's spices in it, besides the grain. It's well seasoned. Oh, this is a uh, cumin, hum right? Or no? Yeah, cumin. Okay, so that's what. Okay, so that's why. That's why it has that very, very, very strong taste. It's because it's cumin. I thought it was like little grains or like little like wheat grains. That's called common sense. That in your tiny mind is not common. Well, I'm tripping. Okay. <laughs> so. We're gonna try it with the sauce. I did. It's well, good. it's the goat uh, curry sauce, right? You said you already had this? No. So, what do you think? It kind of reminds me of birria. Well, let them, let them know what so, birria like, is. So, birria for us is for those that haven't eaten it. Like in the Mexican culture, we also eat uh, goat. You know, for us, it's chivo. We kind of prepare it the same way. But I feel like this is a lot more, like it has a lot more seasoning, and like not in a bad way because I, I love seasoning. Like it's very well seasoned, and it's very good. But it kind of reminds me of bean there. Bean there. Okay. Yeah. So here I go. I'm gonna dip it in. Call it salsa and chips. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 
Oh yeah, it does. Huh? Yeah. It has that taste, huh? Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. And then you can taste the the chivo, the 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 goat, the goat, uh, the goat uh, juices. And for those that haven't tried goat before, <clears throat> I know there's a uh, a lot of people that do like it, and then there's a a lot, a lot, a lot of people that do not like it because the texture of the goat is different than if you would like obviously cow. It's more um. Well, let me, let me, well, it's, more chewier, more, it's more, more like, like more gamey. Well, yeah, that's why. But yeah, that's actually bomb. Okay. Now, here we go. We're going to eat the goat, guys. Mmm. Boom. Um, boom. My. It's spicy, but oh, it's good. Not bro curry? Wow. I give it a freaking 11 out of 10. I will give it a 100. It's good. It's good. That's Actually, I will come again to get seconds for the goat curry. Yeah. And you guys are spot on with your goat curry. You guys really are. I love your guys' rice. I love your white. Actually, I love it all. Like, honestly, it's very, very, like... In a way, I feel like this is something, in a way, and I don't want to compare it because I don't want, like, you know, the Indian community and the Hispanic community to be like, no, they're way different, but we use a lot of the same spices. Almost, yeah. Yeah, because we use a lot of cumin, too. For certain things, so. Yeah. For the soup, so. Yeah. Um, actually, this was very outstanding. Like, this was good. Like, I honestly got a little scared of it because... I've never ate Indian, and then, like, I hear a lot of, like, people saying there's a lot of spices, like, over the amount of spices. A lot of people that ate Indian said they don't like Indian. And so my thoughts were a little tainted at the beginning, but when I actually first try it, I think I would have Indian food again because it is good. I would actually go back to it. Yeah. Yeah, I've been, I I've been try trying to put her on for a while already, but she's like, nope, let's wait for a video. Yeah. <laughs> But honestly, and then look at this big old menu they have, like a big old list of different things, like Raida. I think that's what I it is. Uh, no, that's not it. Oh, it's shredded it's carrot. carrot. Let me go look at that. Me. It is. That's what it is. Shredded carrot, and that's what it is. Oh, I think we figured it out. But look at it. See, there's a lot. Oh, snap. There's like a lot of stuff on this menu. So there's a lot to try. If you guys want to see a second video, since you guys already seen that big large menu there, and you guys want us to try something different on the menu on the Indian cuisine, or you let guys us want know, a part two, or a part two, let us know in the comments. We're gonna finish it here. The last thing we're gonna actually try now is the dessert, and we'll let you know how that one is. We didn't get no drinks. I know when we were over there, what'd you say there was? They had some. Uh, Indian beer. Indian beer. I don't know. There's a lot of things that they have. The Indian cuisine that we went to, they have a lot of stuff. And remember, we're going to do a giveaway once we hit 500 subs. So you guys run it up, please. I know it's been a minute that we've actually been on, but... Life. On life. It's life. life is... Oh, yeah. Life has been happening and stuff like that. But don't think I, I left... I want to grab it for it. Don't think that... Don't think that I left you guys behind. I really didn't. It's just taken us a while. I know the last year and a half or last two years i think it was last two years right we were putting in heck of work we were submitting videos two videos a week or sometimes like one video a week but um and going back to work and i just been non-stop busy so i do want to apologize for that but i'm trying to get back into the groove of like you know putting out videos and stuff like that here we go Mmm, that is bomb. Not good. What does that taste like? Remember, like, um. Oh, the good. That's bomb. It tastes like kind of like a donut hole with syrup. There you go. Like a donut hole and syrup. And that's what that tastes like. Alright, guys. See you guys on the next video. Alright, take care.